What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's three-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. We've got ourselves three games today and the most important news of the day involving CJ McCollum is not out yet, so let's get that power of positivity back in the air. And right now, please hit that like button if you want a chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft. Like this video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. Nobody got Reggie Jackson yesterday in his triumphant return to the Pistons lineup. So let's get back on track today. And right now, please like this video and comment your top value play down below. But you guys know the drill. We've got no time to waste here in the four corners, even as my Labrador Cali comes over. So let's get right into our first corner of the top own plays in Bradley Beal in a game at Cleveland. There's 114.5 implied points for Washington. Beal's got 38% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he has 54% on FanDuel. Beal's 38 minutes and 58.75 fantasy points yesterday were the most he's had in both categories since his leg injury earlier this month, but there is some risk that his minutes take a dip tonight due to the back-to-back. -back. And now for our next top own play of LeBron James in a game at Brooklyn, there was 116.5 implied points for the Lakers. LeBron will have 35% expected ownership on DraftKings while he has 48% on FanDuel. LeBron projects better than the currently questionable Anthony Davis, and he looks good whether AD is in or out, though there may be other higher-priced studs worth paying for to get away from his high ownership on a back-to-back. -back. And another top own play today looks like Kevin Love in that game versus Washington, where there was 116.5 implied points for Cleveland. Love is 34 4% expected ownership on DraftKings while he is 48% on FanDuel. Love's price is up, but he's over 14 shots in six out of his last seven games, while the pace up and Washington's poor 113.4 defensive rating will give him many ways to contribute today. And now for our next corner, here are the top value plays on the slate, starting with Joe Harris in that game versus the Lakers, where there's 111.5 implied points for Brooklyn. Harris seems severely underpriced on DraftKings in particular, with a matchup against the tough Lakers defensive front that may focus their attention on other high-volume scorers. Another site-specific top value play is Tristan Thompson in that game versus Washington, where there's 116.5 implied points for Cleveland. Thompson is appropriately priced on DraftKings, but on FanDuel, he seems like a serious bargain given the pace up and strong center matchup, where the pace will also provide him with more rebound and easy bucket opportunities. And lastly, we've got Jordan McRae in that game at Cleveland, where there's 114.5 implied points for Washington. McRae has mostly seen steady minutes, even as Beals have been back on the rise, and he also serves as a decent pivot for Beal in lineups that assume that he sees less run or fails in some way. And now for our next corner, here are the other core plays I'm looking at today, starting with Kyrie Irving in that game versus the Lakers, where there's 111.5 implied points for Brooklyn. Kyrie seems underpriced against the Lakers team who has struggled some when playing in pace up games, at a price that will allow him some upside if Kyrie guns in adverse conditions, as he always does. And a contingent core play for me is Damian Lillard in the game versus Dallas, where there's 112.5 implied points for Portland. Lillard's high price makes him a core play only if CJ McCollum is out, with a 1.5 fantasy point per minute average with a 35% usage rate and a 36% assist rate, that McCollum would be more appealing if he ends up active. And a cheaper core play today is Jarrett Allen in the game versus the Lakers was 111.5 implied points for Brooklyn. With both DeAndre Jordan and Nick Claxton out, Jared Allen's minutes seem extremely secure against the Lakers' many bigs, as long as he can avoid foul trouble with a very reasonable price and over 29.5 fantasy points in five out of his last six games. And now for our last corner here, the lower-owned dart throws that I'm looking at, starting with Boban Marjanovic in a game at Portland where it was 116.5 implied points for Dallas. With Dwight Powell out and a matchup with Hassan Whiteside, it seems like Boban has to see some run with a 1.4 fantasy point printed average when he's on the floor with Luka while Powell is off. Another Another lower owned big man dart throw that I like is Jan Mahinmi in the game at Cleveland, where it was 114.5 implied points for Washington. Mahinmi has over 36 fantasy points in his last two games, and while Cleveland isn't a great center matchup, his size should be needed against their bigs, with Mahinmi up to 35 minutes yesterday against a big Miami front court. And my last lower owned dart throw is Chetty Osman in the game versus Washington, where it was 116.5 implied points for Cleveland. Osman is a risk due to his low usage, but on a slate with so many studs worth rostering, his value, salary, and the pace up and bad defense from Washington give him a chance to open up higher price play. So that's what me and my super fresh new haircut are seeing on today's three game slate. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want that chance to win a free month of Awesome Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down in the comments below. And as always, those three months of Awesome Plus come courtesy of Superdraft. So right now, step into the future of DFS at Superdraft.io, where if you use the promo code Osmo, get yourself $20 free with a deposit of $100 or more. So go right now to Superdraft.io or download Superdraft in the App Store and check out their multiplier games game tournament, a game style where you don't have to know any sort of salaries. Just pick your guys and go right now at superdraft.io. And to celebrate the Super Bowl, we have a special promo code you can use right now. So use this promo code LIV for Super Bowl LIV. Get yourself one month of an all-access Osmo Plus package for 
campus, $54. It's a bit of a discount right now, and you get all the data across every single sport. So you get your Super Bowl, get your NBA, PGA, NHL, everything you want in your life for the next month. Use that promo code LIV to get yourself 30 days for just $54. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'm always up to some sort of shenanigans, some of which involve NBA and NFL DFS content. So check me out right now on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later today with Fast Eddie Fear. So tune in then. And of course, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for another Four Corners to close out the week. So I'll see you guys then. Enjoy your nights and good luck.